That intro was my attempt at doing a solo from the band The Sword because, well, The Sword have called it quits. So I wanted to thank the band for all the cool albums they gave us, the shows, the cool gear choices. I mean, <laughs> I'm basically sitting here with the Kyle Shut rig, right? This amp here. He was one of the artists that made me really want to get this amp. There was tons of people, but he was one of the main ones. Recently got another DS1. I haven't had one of these in probably 20 years, maybe, maybe longer. But because it was on his board, I was like, let me try it out again. And after all this time, this is still a great distortion pedal for doing this type of music. We have the Kyle Shut signature pedal. This is supposed to be sort of like a modded hot rodder version of the DS1. It's definitely highly, highly tweakable, way more natural sounding. You can do a lot of stuff with this pedal. I fucking love this pedal. It's staying on my board. Obviously I have to because I have the rig, right? And then we have the Kyle Shut signature guitar. Uh, locking tuners, rosewood fingerboard, binding on the neck. I mean, his signature pickups, two volumes, one tone, a bass contour switch. It's a semi-hollow construction. Really cool guitar. I had some issues when I got it, but that was manufacturing. I was able to fix most of them myself. It's really a comfortable guitar to play. And kind of like Kyle said, it, it really sits well on big boys. And I'm a very big boy, so it <laughs> makes me look a little bit less big when I'm playing this. So again, thank you to Kyle, thank you to JD, the sword, for the what, past 20 years maybe? What, six, maybe 16 years, something, 16, 20 years? Lots of great albums. If you don't listen to the sword, maybe go check them out, start with the older material and move up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.